So today we're going to discuss about solving literal equations. Example number one, solve for k. x times parentheses 4 minus k close parentheses equals b. The first thing that we can remove is the x. And we can do that by dividing the left side by x. Now whatever you do on the left, you must do on the right. So this now turns into a 1. Therefore, I will have 1 in the front of um, 4 minus k. And in that case, I can just remove the parentheses because that's going to be a positive 1. Therefore, if um, you want to distribute that positive 1 to 4 minus k, it's going to come out the same. So that will come out as 4 minus k equals p over x. So now again, we're solving for k. So we need to remove the 4. We need to put it on the other side. So this now will turn into a negative k, p over x minus 4. The way to make the k become a positive k or a, there's a positive 1 in the front, the way for us to do that, they, we can do it in two ways. We can divide both sides by negative 1, as you all learned before. Or the other way that we can change this to become a positive 1 is to multiply both sides by positive 1. In this case, I think that's the easier way to do it. So um, I will multiply this side by a negative 1 so as to turn the negative 1 in front of the k and turn it into a positive 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Whatever I do on the left side, I will have to do to all of this right side. So I will multiply this by negative 1. If I distribute my negative, the negative 1 will have to be distributed to the first term and the second term. And so now this will become a k equals negative p over x plus a 4 because a negative 1 times a negative 4 will turn into a positive 4. Now there's another way to do it, and I'm going to show it here on this side. Going back here, whenever we had the negative k equals p over x minus 4, please understand that I can change the position of my negative k and put it here, thereby making it become positive k. However, both of these terms will go to the other side, therefore we will have a negative p over x and a plus 4. Notice that this is the same as this one. Therefore, both are accepted to be correct answer. Example number 2. A equals H parentheses A plus B close parentheses all over 2. Solve for H. Again, we need to remove the 2 at the bottom and the A plus B on top. The farthest the farthest it is from h, the easier it is to remove it. Therefore, the very first thing that we can remove here is the 2. The inverse of divide is multiply. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply this side, this whole thing, by 2. But whatever I do on the right, I will have to do on the left. So I will also multiply this by 2. The moment I do that, the 2 at the bottom and the 2 on the top will now become a 1. Therefore, I will just have 2a equals h, parentheses a plus b. And the way for me to isolate my h is to divide this side by the whole of a plus b. Whatever I do on the right, I will do on the left. This now turns to a1, and so now my h is equal to 2a all over Understand that there's a 1 in the front, so if I uh, multiply 1 by any number, it's that number itself. So that would be A plus B. This now is your answer. Let us go to example number 3 using the same um, equation. A equals H times parentheses A plus B all over 2. But this time, solving for B. We need to remove H, A, and 2. The easiest to remove is the one that's farthest away from B. Therefore, it's the 2. So we multiply this side by 2 
because that's the inverse of divide, and whatever I do on the right, I do on the left. The moment you do that, this 2 turns into a1. We now just have 2a equals h, parentheses a plus b. Now, I need to remove my h and a so that b can be isolated. And the easiest to remove is the one that's farthest away from b, and that's the h. That's multiply, and the inverse of multiply is divide. So I'm now going to divide that by h, and this now will turn to a1. Therefore, I will just have 2a over h equals a plus b. I'm just doing a plus b because this parentheses will be removed due to the fact that there is a 1, positive 1 in the front. And positive 1 times any number is the number itself. Therefore, now my b is 2a over h minus a, but there's an or, and I can now actually have my b as, I can put the negative a in the front if I want to, and I can put that here, this term is positive, so I will have positive 2a over h. These two are the same. You may need to go to the next page of your notebook at this point. So, example number four. D equals RT, solve for R. This is very easy. All we need to do is to divide this side by T. Whatever you do on the right, you do on the left. So, T over T now turns to A1. Therefore, our R is D over Example number 5, C equals 5 over 9 times parentheses F minus 32, close parentheses, solve for F. So again, the first one that we can remove is the one that's farthest away from F. So negative 32 is inside the same parentheses as F, that's the last thing you can remove. So you can remove now 5 over 9 by multiplying this whole side by its inverse. I'm now using a different colored pen just so you can see how this will work. So now the whole thing will be multiplied by the inverse of 5 over 9 or by the reciprocal of 5 over 9, which is 9 over 5. Whatever I do on the right, I must do on the left. So I'll multiply this all by 9 over 5. So now this turns to 9 over 5c equals, this will now be gone because a 9 on top and a 9 on the denominator, numerator and denominator turns to a1, a5 in the numerator and 5 in the denominator turns to a1 as well. Therefore, there's just 1 in the front of this parentheses making this side become f minus 32. So once again, you are permitted to just remove the parentheses whenever the number in the front is just a positive 1. Why? Because 1 times any number is the number itself. Now let's go back to 5 ninths times c. I want to discuss this with you a little bit. So what are the allowable ways to write this? The first one that's allowed or permitted is 9 over 5 and the c here in the front. That's permitted. Another way is when you have a 9C on the numerator and 5 in the denominator, that is allowed. What is not allowed is if you have a 9 on top and you have a 5C at the bottom. That is not permitted if you want it to be, if, if you meant it to be this way. That is not permitted. That will have a different answer. But these two are going to be permitted. So now let's go back to here. So if we want to solve for f, we need to remove the negative 32 and move it to the other side. Therefore, my answer is that is an f, then I will have a 9 over 5c plus a 32. That now is your final answer.